for this one. It's the Grand Theater. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. Time for our tale of the tape. It's the incomparable Roy Jones Jr. RJJ is 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 74 inches. And he'll be taking on smoking Joe Frazier. Only 6 feet tall even. 229 pounds, but he hits harder than any man alive. There is no joke about this. Someone is going to get hurt, the other is going to get embarrassed. Let's make sure they measure up well. It's the incomparable Roy Jones Jr. He won world titles at four different weight classes, including the heavyweight championship of the world. He is smoking Joe Frazier. His three battles with Muhammad Ali, perhaps the most famous the sport has ever seen. Oh, pure bad blood. Needless to say, everyone is excited to see this one. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner, from Pensacola, Florida, here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Hiding out of the blue corner, the Olympic gold medalist from Beaufort, South Carolina, the Hall of Famer from the golden era of heavyweights, a heavyweight champion of the world, smoking Joe Frazier. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. Words are cheap. It's the action that says it all. We'll find out when the first bow goes. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. So here we go. Should be a good one. He just misses with that jab. Nice uppercut. The most difficult punch to land clean, and he just did it there. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great wind IQ. Counter punches are the best. How did he absorb that hook? Nice exchanges from both men in this win. Good one. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You've got to swarm on your case. You know you've got to fight. You've got to hold him. You've got to tie him up. You've got to lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because I will keep punching until that referee said stop. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Which fighter is winning this bout? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Both men step back for just a moment. He 
neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. A couple of big units there, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. Exchanges from both men in this round. Nice hook. You can see his legs have given out a little bit. He's got to start firing back. He's got him right where he wants him. Now what? Can he close the show? Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Missed him with that uppercut. Misses with that jet. Oh, and he caught him clean. Is this? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. That was. Here's the bell to start round three. old adage is no matter how much speed you've got timing beats speed when you've got a fast fighter they will cut you to ribbons and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you this is a natural gift Punch hurt him. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He caught him with a left hook. phrase second win you've got to fight it somehow midway through the fight if you are tired this can be the loneliest place in the world if you cheated now we're gonna find out he just misses with that big right hand a big right. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Fighter is going to get caught first. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Tosh, you know what? Sometimes when I've done the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Razor covering up. He's got nowhere to go. It's now or never. The clock is ticking. This is his big chance. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on.
exchanges from both men in this round. He takes that jab. finish and apparently no rest for the weary thought about taking a breath but instead they're in there throwing bombs again talk about punches and bunches that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed let me explain to you about a fast fight a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork to relax they're confident. They know that. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> this fight could not be any close. Here's the bell to start round five. Miss with that left jab. Both men step back for just a moment. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. This team is so frustrating. When you're in the such a fast fight, a fast fight that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. These punches coming from every angle. Stumbling around on Bambi legs. He's got to get back into the fight. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. There's the bell for round six. Fails to score with that left hook. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. It's the one who draws first blood toe. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a binder, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. He got buckled again. The knees buckled. He's still on his feet, though. Tremendous. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. Good job trying to back out of trouble. <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Caught him with a left hook. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. 
what can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. And there's the bell for round seven. He scores with that right hand. with that jab. Another scoring shot there. Better be careful. The referee may take a point if he keeps flinching. Seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym. He's in trouble. How is this fight still continuing? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he rocked him. And now we'll see what kind of finisher he is. And finally, Jones goes down. seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the... There's the bell to start round eight. Jab. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. This fighter sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You see him with the hook. seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. Well, Johnny, it's a majority decision win. Did you think it was going to be that close? Todd, you are right. We don't see this that often. But when we do, we really remember it. And this is one of those fights. Majority decision. I agree. You agree. The fans agree. Sorry, am I talking to you? Alright, that's enough. Okay, you agree. <laughs>